Okay, good, good evening. We have a quorum. It's 6.45. We'll call a planning board meeting to order. And we only have one item on the agenda tonight, and that is the special public here, the uh, public hearing for the zoning articles for the special town meeting that has been postponed to November. And um, I'll just start by reading the legal notice. The Halley Planning Board will conduct a Zoom public meeting on Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, beginning at 6.45 p.m. The purpose of the hearing is to review the proposed amendment to the Hadley Zoning Bylaw. One, one, amend, one, amend the zone bylaw by adding a new section, 1.2 definitions. This section shall consolidate most definitions found throughout the bylaw into this new section and will also define numerous existing words. The article will also delete most definitions currently found in other sections to avoid confusion. Number two, amend section 25 and 27 by adding verbiage to permit amendments, payments into the Hadley Affordable Housing Trust Fund as, a, as another option to satisfy the affordable housing requirements of the inclusionary zone bylaw. The complete text of the amendments, zone bylaw, and map are available upon request via, via email to the Hadley Planning. The publication in the newspaper, two times, September 28th and October 5th. And so we'll take up the amendments first. There was uh, a couple of minor amendments that the uh, town council recommended, and we incorporated those minor changes into the uh, um, um, the uh, warrant. Anybody have any questions on them? I think we forwarded those to everybody. I did get an email from uh, Mark Dunn. <clears throat> And he is looking for, uh, let me just be sure I am quoting him correctly. I reached out to the Western Mass American Institute of Architects and a friend at Construct. And so far, no one knows of a residential construction cost index. I'll try the Boston AIA and another friend who is an architect and developer inside the 495 Beltway. Okay. That would be for the next uh, zone amend. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments on, a, on the definition section? So the definition section is going to be, just to make sure, it is going to be Article 15 of the uh, Special Town Meeting Warrant. And uh, I'll just say for the record that uh, the bulk of the definitions are being moved from other sections, consolidated in one place, which is the, <clears throat> the new and improved way to organize a bylaw. Many thanks to PBPC for assisting us with that. Uh, Jim, perhaps you should mention that occasionally there was a conflict and uh, the building inspector was a little concerned, or the former building inspector, and uh, through Ken's help, we've made sure everything is consistent with the state zoning regulations, and so. Yeah, yeah, Tim, Tim Neihart, when he was building inspector, had been pushing for this for a long time, so he was most pleased to finally see this coming forward to the uh, town meeting and being actually uh, documented in the zone bylaw clarifies a lot of troubles he's had trying to, you know, one definition says one dictionary says something else this way. If it's in the zone bylaw, this is the, this is the definition that they got to go by. And I also want to thank uh, Ken for his formatting contribution, which solved a problem that we've been wrestling with for a long time about if you just throw all the definitions into one section without keying them back to the sections they originally came from, it's right. just overwhelming. It's like sitting down to read a dictionary, but having the, um, having the definitions keyed to the article that they relate to uh, is a big help. Yes, that is correct. Good job, Kim. Thank you. Any other comments? Motion to recommend um, the definitions. 
I will make a motion to recommend the definitions to the special town meeting. Second. That, motion a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes 4-0 with one absent. Then we have the affordable trust fund and many, many thanks to Ken on this one because we were struggling on how we're going to do this one and he found out that we could actually put it into the regulation, put the formula into the regulations and refer in the zone bylaw to the formula in the regulations, for lack of a better term. This is an option. This is not something that they have to do. They, they can, there are other options they could do, um, but this will take the formula, which in a nutshell takes the wholesale cost of the building plus the interest over 15 years um, plus the cost of the land, combines them all together, subtracts the payment that the um, moderate income person or family would pay over the course of the 15 years from this total and the balance is what would go into the donation into the Hadley Affordable Trust Fund. The only thing that we want to make sure is that the uh, town council recommended, and we put it into, it's going to be up here in the bio, in the uh, warrant that way, is that it uses the um, prevailing wage to build a house. That's going to make this donation and the, the, the cost of the donation probably prohibitive. So we got to just, we have a month or three weeks to try to find um, a reasonable solution to that and put that forward as an amendment on town meeting floor. I'm not in favor, and I believe probably neither is most of the board, of using the prevailing wage because it's going to be too, to make it too ex prohibitively expensive for the developer. We want to encourage the donations into the fund, not discourage. Any other comments? So that will be uh, Article 16 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant. Okay. Megan's Way is not appearing on this warrant. Is that right, Bill? That is correct. Okay. Still working out. So I will make a motion to recommend uh, Article 16. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion, motion passes 401. The only caveat to, to Bill's motion is that we, I, I personally want to see the amendment um, as far as the way to calculate the affordable trust fund. That's all. Okay, well, we have... Uh, <clears throat> We have two, two more meetings coming up before the, um, the town meeting. Right. So, 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 so is Mark, does Mark think he's going to be able to come up with something? I mean, asking me to find something like that is kind of crazy. I don't think about building. Yeah. I, got, I you know, it's probably crazy to ask me to come up with a formula, but I did it, but. <laughs> well, you come up with a formula. That was good. Yeah. We just got to find a way to figure out this wholesale cost. Yeah. There's got to be some way we can figure that out. I have an email out to um, the Western Mass Home Builders and Remodelers Association. Um, so I'm, I asked that person to contact over there okay. um, if there's some sort of index for Pioneer Valley or for um, Hamden or Hampshire County depending on, you know, oh. what type of measurement they may have or what organization would have that. Um, so. Well, you know, people, the word out there is that the cost of building at homes is, has spiked here during the coronavirus because everybody wants a new home or moving to the country. So clearly this index is a moving index, I would, one would think, and somebody has to keep track of that. Yeah. Right at the present, yeah, that's true. Right at the present time, the cost of lumber is up anywhere between 50 to 
Yeah. Depending what, what kind of lumber you want. And, uh, I mean, a small addition I just put onto my house, the lumber cost 50% more than it did four months ago on the estimate. Wow. But, we, you know, we're, we're talking for the addition. It wasn't a lot of money because it wasn't, much, it wasn't a big addition. But somebody putting up a, uh, a house, a whole house, that's a whole other story. Well, the American Home Builders Association, the uh, their executive mentioned the five L's have risen dramatically. Lending, you have to have a legitimate twenty percent down. Lumber is skyrocketed, like you've said. Labor, uh, plumbers, electricians are charging more if you can get them, and uh, local things like uh, APR, spotted turtle, spade-toed frog are all taking land away from potential building sites. So uh, uh, it's very difficult to say how can we reduce the cost of housing. Wichita, uh, Kansas, I told you, Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> well, and, and in spite of all that, the contractors right now, construction for whatever reason is booming. Industrial, business, residential. I mean, I talked to different contractors and they're busier than crazy. So, anyways, mm. um, I have nothing else. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Welcome. Motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting is history. Thank you, and thank you, John. Thank you, Kim. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.